most people when they go shopping don't really think about planning ahead. Um, but I'm going to give you four items that you sh if you have the money, you should probably stock up on when you can. Hey there, NJ, Route22.com here with a quick little uh, consumer alert or a miser savings uh, update. It's about buying things um, when they go on sale. And not just, um, we're not talking really about food items, but items at your everyday supermarket that you can that you should think about buying a little bit extra when they go on on a good sale now mind you a lot of people do shop at like cost costco and bj's and sam's club and those shopping clubs um, and buying in bulk in general usually does save you money over buying individual units or smaller packages or stuff like that um but I found that, uh, at least from my observation, that those uh, price clubs aren't always like, like significantly more. And of course, you have to take into consideration the uh, annual membership fees as well. So that depending on how much you use or buy or spend, it may or may not make a difference in your annual expenditures. But if you, if you don't want to be bothered with the price club shopping, then here's a, here's a few items I came up with that uh, you should probably think about buying on sale. Now, my first item was paper, uh, paper products, but uh, paper towels in particular. Um, we've, dis we've said in the past that Bounty paper towels are still kind of the best, uh, the best of the best. I don't think there's any other brand or version that, that's actually better in terms of actual quality. but. Bounty per square foot is usually, you know, at least double, sometimes three times more expensive than any other competitor. Even the premium competitors that we think that you can get, like you can get premium Walmart paper towels, premium uh, Aldi paper towels, which are sketchy. I don't really buy the Aldi paper towels anymore because they vary their supplier month to month. Like sometimes you're getting an okay, uh, and sometimes they're getting a kind of a shoddy one. So. Aldi's no good, but Lidl, Lidl is a new German supermarket that's popping up and you're going to see a lot more of those Lidl's in the next couple of years. I think they have equal um, to Bounty <clears throat> and, and it's much, much less. It's the king of the hill right now. I, there's a link in the, uh, in the article and uh, you have to go to my website, njroot22.com to read the article. I don't think I'm going to put a link in the uh, description. I always forget. I always forget the link. You can go to my home page though. There's a lot of fun things to look up on, on the website. But you can get Bounty. If Bounty is, uh, is the old standby, you can get it almost down to a, a, a respectable price. Um, but you have to buy them on sale. You have to buy the biggest pack and then sometimes they have, if you buy like two packs of Bounty, you'll get a $10 instant rebate at, your, at the checkout. So you gotta study the, the sh like ShopRite flyer to, to, to score that deal. If you ever wanna, and you can buy like, uh, you know, $100 worth of Bounty and have many months of Bounty uh, to keep you going. And those are necessities. And same goes for toilet paper too. I mean, it depends on your brand, I guess. <laughs> Toilet paper is more of a personal preference, obviously, since it uh, deals with areas where the light doesn't shine. But that's something to keep in, in mind. But the next item I have for you all is seltzer. I, not everybody drinks seltzer, but I'm a huge seltzer drinker because I drink it with my alcoholic beverages. Never alone, just with my alcoholic beverages. Ah, so refreshing. Um, but I found a new uh, King of the Hill seltzer for me. I mean, I, I don't, some people in my house swear by Perrier and it's a, like a jip. Um, usually like almost $3 a, a 25 ounce bottle at like places like King's, but sometimes you can score Perrier for like a buck a bottle, buy five for $5. Uh, but that, that sale kind of fluctuates. Sometimes it's um, like four for five, five, you know, whatever. I like the ShopRite brand seltzers the best. And my new flavor, I don't even buy any other flavors. It's cucumber melon. It's truly a delightful 
drink and no man should say the word delightful it's an awesome drink it's an awesome drink I love the way it tastes but I you can score it from time to time I've noticed it for five liters for two dollars that's 40 cents a liter you know compared to like buying a less than a liter of Perrier for almost three dollars it's it's insane but I like the ShopRite seltzers and, and you can buy those stay good for a long 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 time and I know a lot of people like their cans of seltzer they bring them with them on their in their car or whatever I don't know cans the smaller the package the the more it costs always so if you can get the liters that's your best um, unit size to to buy and you can learn to live with it I guess yeah. but so if you ever see those seltzers on on sale like you should give the shop right ones a try pick pick up you know for two dollars for five you can get uh, for 20 bucks you can get 50 liters of seltzer and just put them in your shelf somewhere if you have the room and uh, keep them keep them for a long time so always keep an eye on that stuff and and remember what your inventory was in your storage areas in your house and here I got another item for you and I this is not my favorite item to stock up on but be, because you know I, I take supplements vitamins um, quite a bit here so I used to buy like uh, you know more name brand like I like now vitamins which uh, Amazon sells and other health foods holy shit there's a huge uh, like dragonfly in the uh, in my movie studio here or I don't know what it is I need oh you know what I have I have a bug zapper I'm gonna zap it if it comes anywhere near me this thing is huge holy mackerel why is it bothering me while I'm filming? This is awful. I'm gonna, see, this is my uh, bug zapper. I'm gonna get it. Thing is the size of a bat. Holy macaroni. Well, I'm gonna try and film. Oh, here, wait, I see it. Got it. Zap that dragonfly. Anyway, <laughs> completely unscripted. Wow. These things are great. They sell them at Ocean State Java for $3.99. And don't have these around the, your kids. It's like a mini stun gun. Um, you press the button, it electrifies this field, and anything that has water in it is going to get zapped. So, luckily, I had this around. I, anyway, vitamins. There's a brand of uh, vitamins. I forget which one it is. Nature is something or another. Because every vitamin at ShopRite has the word nature in it. It's so annoying. Um, but there's one, it's not nature's truth, it's nature's bounty, that's what it is. They, every now and then they have a, a sale at ShopRite, I think it's almost every month, but you, it's 50% off. And I take vitamin D, vitamin C, uh, there's a couple others, potassium. You get them really cheap, you know. So if you take any vitamin regularly, I would recommend you buy a couple extra when they're 50% off, so, but, uh, personal preference again and and I can tell that the nature's bounty ones do work I can, and some of the other ones the sundown uh, naturals at uh, at uh, Rite Aid is awful and there's another one uh, yet the yellow vitamins I never I know I didn't like those yellow vitamins there's a couple of the I forget which one it is at ShopRite but the yellow vitamins a couple of them are okay like the vitamin B's definitely work um, but that's about it I can speak for them and lastly it's another uh, consumable item it's bags um, either garbage bags or the food bags like those um, zip zipper bags uh, they go on sale and like everybody has their there's the two big brands there's the hefty brands and the Ziploc brands um, and the garbage bags I think it's glad and hefty um, you know the name brands I think they are just a little bit better but nobody's like carrying a garbage bag like a homeless person up like, with them everywhere so I wouldn't really worry about the actual quality of the bags and I found good success with the ShopRite bags uh, both the food zipper bags as well as the garbage bags and you can buy the family pack when they have that on sale it's it's pennies on the dollar compared to the hefty glad or Ziploc brands so just try to uh, pay attention always buy the bigger volume you pay less per bag and and if you use it regularly it, it's just a no-brainer money saver 
I did want to say one quick thing about um, the food bags. I've noticed over the last um, several years that those uh, slider bags with the little, I guess, uh, zipper, it's, they call it Ziploc bags. There was always Ziploc without the zipper, and then they put a zipper on it. And it's, I don't know, now they call them slider zippers. I found that even the name brand, Heft, uh, Hefty or, or Ziploc, the zipper bags break like every other bag breaks especially if you like store like your let's say you make like a couple pounds of bacon and you want to go in three or four times i think they have a expiration of four zips and then they break so i we're done 100 percent done with any kind of sliding bag that's just for lazy people uh it sure is easier and it makes a definite uh seal but uh you, you can test the seal by by I, I can go all into how, how you're supposed to um, zip a bag and test it, but the double zipper the manual bags are just fine. You can get like so many, like a hundred bags for like two dollars at Shoprite, and you can also get those at Lidl and uh, and Aldi as well. And they're, I think they're just as good as any of the house brands. And of course, I mean, I would will add here that. You know, from time to time, meats go on sale, uh, ground beef, and I wouldn't mess around with steaks, but meats, like ground beef and bacon, frequently are always on sale. Like there's, I think there's like four weeks a year that bacon isn't on sale at Shoprite. Um, you got to keep in mind you got to freeze that stuff if you buy a lot of it, and when you buy things and put it in the freezer, you have to kind of um, rotate your freezer. So. Anything you buy food-wise and freeze, you really have to have a good plan on how to eat that freezer food. I used to call it freezer week in my house, where like, you know what, we, we gotta make room in the freezer for fresh stuff, and, but that hasn't been working too well, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tips. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope the exciting bug zap uh, was, was fun, but I got it first try. Have a good week ahead. Good rest of your week. I don't know when I publish these, so enjoy.